Hello, this is Lucy from Necessary Angel. We're really excited to talk to you about our upcoming show, Tu Com Elle, Just Like Her, that's happening this summer at the Luminato Festival. This piece features a diverse and wonderful cast of 50 women. And the show starts with 50 pairs of shoes on the stage. On April 11th, we had a fundraising event at the Verity Club, hosted by Kate Taylor from the Globe and Mail. And joining us was our director, Bridget Enkins, as well as some of the actresses from the workshop back in May. We're about to share with you some of the insights of that evening, just to give you an idea of what to expect when you come and see Tu Com Elle, just like her. Enjoy. So 50 women, where did that idea come from? How was, how was the show conceived? Uh, I like to spend money. <laughs> <laughs> I did a show uh, 10 years before I was a uh, I think it was 12 women on, on, on the stage, and I thought, well, it's not enough. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I want a lot. So I said, well, 20, uh, 20, it's okay, but it's not enough. <laughs> so I was like, well, 50, I think 50 is a good, you would do it. it's a good word. Yeah. I like five pounds in French. It's an extraordinary group of women, uh, mm -hmm. and all ages and all nationalities, <laughs> and uh, the piece kind of speaks to that, reminding us of how similar we are. It's such an amazing opportunity as an actor to walk into the idea of choral work, both vocally and physically, uh, because we just don't have the opportunity to do that often enough. This is the first time I, in, my, in the history of my career that I will have the opportunity to work in this kind of environment and it challenges everything you thought you knew about what it was to be an actor. From beginning to end we're all on stage and we're every movement is choreographed and it's, it's like we're creating images so sometimes it'll be like the family portrait and then sometimes it turns into um, like, like Christmas time and people are dancing by the Christmas tree and, and just these images keep appearing and, and uh, morphing into other images with the poetic text appearing. Sometimes it's one person speaking, sometimes it's choral work, sometimes it's a melange of both. <laughs> it's uh, about trust in the power of the collective female experience. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's not something that you can put into words. You have to come and see the show. It's choreographed, but it's not choreographed in the same way as a dance a little company would choreograph. No. So we're not in front of mirrors learning exact movements in the same exact way. It's as if Brigitte will teach us a movement or show us something and we will do it and it's the same movement but it looks different on everybody's body and that's allowed and that's in fact encouraged. So I think that that makes for a really interesting visual picture because it's not expected to be perfect kicks that go at the same height, right? Yeah. It's, it's more as if everybody is allowed to bring their own body into the room. It's like a show mixing words and bodies. You know? And there are some moments funny and some are more very grave. They speak, they move. And... Thank you. I think this piece utterly exemplifies what the theater can do, the film could never in a million years accomplish because it's alive. And it's not alive as a two-hander, it's alive with 50 women. It's a, it's a living, breathing entity, and everybody's in the room together with it. So it's an extraordinary theatrical experience. It's an event. It's a theatrical event, and highly unusual. And I think people are starving for it, myself. I think they may not know that they're starving for it, but I think that they are. <laughs>